This app was struggling to convert users into paying customers. With over a thousand downloads last month, it only generated $120 in revenue. But within hours of making one simple change, the floodgates of paying users opened. In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact change he made and how you might be overlooking one of the most fundamental pieces of the puzzle. Get this right and you could instantly boost your revenue overnight. Meet Francesco, an ambitious indie app developer from Italy with over 25 apps in his portfolio, from AI identifiers to an Italian brain rot app. I really don't understand this trend, but maybe I'm not young enough or not Italian enough. Francisco has been busy. He recently graduated from the Apple Developer Academy and even launched an app called Peter AI, a Mac app that lets you find App Store trends, discover how much apps are actually making, and unlock key user sentiment data about app competitors. I was able to ask Peter AI about my app Piano Run, and it told me what people loved about it, what people don't, and even offered some recommendations for future updates. And it looks like this is Francesco's secret weapon because he found a niche before anyone else. Eye scanning. Yes, eye scanning. The app is called Eye Color Identifier Eye Scan, an app that unlocks the hidden story behind your eye color. In the past month, it generated over 1,000 downloads and it ranks number two for the keyword Eye Color Analyzer and number three for the keyword Eye Color Identifier. Francesco successfully found an emerging trend. He successfully built the app and he successfully got it ranking in the top spots of search results. But he's struggling to convert that momentum into actual paying customers. So he reached out. This app seems to be growing in terms of downloads, but I really don't know how to monetize it properly. I know that something is possible here, but with the current setup, it's just not performing well. So I downloaded the app, I checked it out and immediately, I saw the problem. Wait a minute, you're not offering a free trial here. The absence of a free trial means users had to make an upfront commitment and assess whether the app is worth the weekly or monthly subscription fee. And the paywall itself, it looks the part. It follows all the rules, everything that I've talked about, except it doesn't really leave me with much excitement to pay. It's just feature heavy, unlimited eye scans, full detailed reports, share beautiful eye cards, complete scan history. I've just loaded the app for the first time. I don't know what any of these things actually mean. So before making a purchase, I at least want to try the app first. But again, there's actually no free trial. And if we rewind just a few moments prior, we had a really nice onboarding screen. It's beautiful, it tells a nice story, but again, I'm left wondering what's in this for me? What are the benefits of this app? Right now, I'm left with a feeling of curiosity. I wanna try it out, but what am I actually trying out? So I gave Francesco my suggestions. Currently, everything is feature focused. Things need to be a bit more benefit driven. Try adding a free trial to the weekly offering, and that onboarding process is nice and all, but needs to explain what the app actually does, what the benefits are and what's in it for the user. The focus here is to optimize the onboarding flow and that paywall. It turns out Francesco just didn't add a free trial because he's a bit worried about churn. This is essentially a single use app and he's worried that users might not convert that well into actual sales. And he kind of has a point there. A user could access everything the app has to offer within those first three days of trial, then cancel and move on. So now the roadmap for this app becomes crystal clear. One, optimize the onboarding flow. Two, optimize that paywall. And three, build new features to bring people back to the app. Within moments of our conversation, Francesco started to implement the changes, adding a free trial to the weekly offering and instantly started to get trial signups. Like this sort of thing can seem real basic and you can really overlook the importance of those first few impressions. If you have people using your app and you're not giving them a reason to subscribe, then they just won't. Simply making the subscription free with a free trial at least allows users the opportunity to explore what the premium features are and what's in it for them before making a purchasing decision. Even if you do a poor job describing the benefits to them, at least it gives them the opportunity to see it for themselves. But there's still a way to get there. Francesco's next challenge is to keep users coming back to the app long enough 
to justify that subscription. I'll be keeping a close eye on this one and I'm interested to see what happens in future versions when those suggestions that I recommended are implemented. And if you have an app that's struggling to get revenue, let me know in the comments or message me on X, Instagram, or email.